I'm about to do another haul video and thanks everybody who liked the last one. We went to Paul's Books and um, Tali got a bunch of really cool books and I know a lot of people have been asking for another one. So I was visiting my dad out in um, Eagle Rock, California so he took me to read books. Um, it's like a newsstand and used books and so I'm going to show you the haul. So, okay, um, I'm just going to go through what I got. Zen and the Older Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Um, this is a really good book. Um, like, some people, girls are asking, like, how do I attract guys? Um, you know, like, guys don't seem to like what I read. And this is so killer. Like, I didn't, I didn't think of anything, but then I was reading it, like, at an ice cream place, and... My current boyfriend came and he's like, what are you reading? I'm like, oh, Zen and I remember. And I was just like, he was holy. <laughs> and how do I pick a book? A lot of you guys are asking that. Okay, so I look at the cover, and then I go inside, and I go, okay, are there any reviews? You know? Sometimes I don't look at reviews, but sometimes it helps. And then I look at the back and see what it's about. And then I see what else they've written. Sometimes that's in the beginning. And, um, yeah, like other books and one of the copyright and stuff like that. And then I just start reading. You know, and then you just kind of, like, go from there. Okay. Um, on Quiet Mind, I got this, and, um, I was diagnosed with bipolar 2, like, two years ago. And, um, which is, like, the new gladiator sandal of, um, mental illnesses, but... It's really good. It's really good. It's all about like, also Madness by Maria Hornbacher. It's really well written and it's by the psychiatrist. Okay, that's kind of personal. <sighs> some of you guys write in and some of you haters, exit out. If you don't want to watch this, exit out. Um, we're like, oh, where's your mom? Like, you shouldn't be making these suggestive videos. What if Patteras are watching? Well, it's called neglect. Read The Glass Castle by Jeanette Wallace. I'm not eating walls, but basically the only thing to have in this house is Nutrisystem barbecue chips. I'm alone here. Mom. Oh, I care so much. Well, you wouldn't have me buy this book, A Child Called It. This is like always in airports. And yeah, it's a really good story, but it's not my thing. And I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just having an opinion. You know, I'm not dad. I'm not being judgmental. I'm being objective and rand. I guess totally an Anne rand. Or in and basically her name's Anne. She just respelled it, and it's all like um, um, selfishness is good, um, which is baby daddy philosophy, which is why my mom probably left my dad, and now he's in like a halfway house. Dad, you can't be reading that stuff. You're not Alan Greenspan, you know. You're like a recovering alcoholic. He had me read the big book by Al Cox, and I was like, it's not very big. It's only like 250 pages, but it's pretty repetitive. It's like, just read Mary Carr's Lit if you're looking at addiction. It's really good. Okay, Glass Castle, shout out. Tom Clancy, this is for my stepdad, Al. Um, okay. Oh, big book. Mm, like, those are almost, like, free. Um... Oh, Fever Pitch. This is another one to read, like, during Spirit Week. I know you guys, like, everyone has a hard time if you're a reader and you're not into sports. And um, it's like, oh, we're all going to be fascists and wear the same color all week and then, like, blue and white, but we're jaguars. That doesn't even make any sense, metaphorically. So, Fever Pitch, Nick Hornby. I don't know even anything about sports. Really good. Okay, and it's, you know, again, it's something where it's like you can share, you know, like guys will go, what are you reading? Oh, that's cool. You know, it's a really cute book to read with guys. Okay. My friend's lounge is, has the best taste. Sometimes I don't feel like I don't have good taste, you know? Um, like I read Anita Shreve's The Pilot's Wife. What am I doing? It was good. It was good. It's not a reread. You know, it's not like a reread. Like, you know when you're gonna just like have something forever, like Isabella Allende, you know? 
Um, but Zadie Smith's white teeth. Oh, she's like um, she's like the John Leguizamo of voices, character voice. It's really good. Thanks, Solange. We always get each other um, books and stuff for Christmas, but we tell each other what we're gonna get. So like, sh I don't get something she doesn't want, and she doesn't. This year, she's getting me um, what is the what? which is this book written by Dave Eggers about this um, refugee. Dave Egg like sometimes I put my name with his name. I go, oh, you know, what would it be like to be Mrs. Eggers? He totally has a wife though. And it would be age inappropriate. But 